Now, the most accurate weather team in Florida, ABC Action Weather. How you doing, everybody? Still tracking a few scattered showers, most of which in Polk and Highlands County. And through the overnight hours, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few more up until midnight. But otherwise, first thing on Thursday morning, there will be a few isolated showers closer to the coast. We've still got that west to east flow. So that means any storms that come in off the Gulf just slowly go across the state and get a little stronger because they run into some hot air east of us. And by the time they go over to the east coast over on the Atlantic side, <laughs> there's severe thunderstorm warnings and very heavy weather. So for our neck of the woods on Thursday, we'll say more clouds than sun couple of scattered showers and then I actually think the sea breeze collapses and the showers start to come back toward our beach by about eight or nine o'clock Thursday night. So bottom line, kind of just an, a summer like picture. I mean, this forecast is almost exactly what we get with a westerly wind in the middle of July. The timing doesn't change much. Morning coastal showers, afternoon storms later on. The difference is it's pretty widespread and by the time we roll into the early part of next week, we will have seen another weather system come through another weak area of low pressure, giving us more moisture to work with. And again, overall, another inch two, maybe three inches of rain across any point in our viewing area until maybe by the middle of next week. I think we try to dry out just a little bit. How long it lasts <laughs> just too early to tell. Here's Florida's most accurate seven day forecast. So we're going to rain chances about 30% on Thursday, 40% on Friday. By the weekend, that secondary low I was talking about bumps up rain chances again to 60% and then back down to about 30% by the early part of next week.